Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt DiNapoli. I am a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco Developer Relations. Welcome to episode 84 of Snack Minute. Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute bite of learning covering tech, coding, and some cool projects that we work on. And the cool thing we're going to talk to you about today is um, Yank Suite with our returning guests, Jeremy and Story. Jeremy, Story, do you mind introducing yourselves, please? Yes, absolutely. Hey, Snackers. My name is Jeremy Coho, Technical Marketing Engineer at Cisco Systems. Uh, I've been covering programmability and automation, including the Yank Suite tooling, uh, for about five years now. And I'm Story Dewees. I'm also in technical marketing, working on iOS XE, and I've been at Cisco for about two years now. They're here again. I know. I'm excited about this one. It's always <laughs> it's always fun to have these guys over. We always talk about some cool things, and the Yank Suite is is very useful. And so we we decided to bring him back to give us an update on what's going on and what's new. And they always bring a cool demo, so it's a win-win. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. Um, so uh, what are you guys here to talk to us about today? Yeah, so today we're here to talk about Yang Suite, which is our tooling to help uh, with validation of our different environments. So how to actually use uh, the Yang API. And we have definitely a lot to cover. We have new features that have just been released in the latest Yang Suite update. And uh, here we have an overview of essentially what we've covered in the past. So in the initial release, uh, when Yang Suite was first released back in 2021, we had a DevNet Snack Minute. This was episode nine, where we went over the basics. And then we had a follow-up about the second release in DevNet Snack Minute episode 58. And now we're back to talk about the latest, greatest updates uh, that are happening in Yang Suite. Eight, you guys are episode just nine, more and more. To <laughs> episode the nine feels like ages ago. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. We were young and skinny back then. <laughs> so, in the third release uh, specifically, uh, we're going to showcase some demos here uh, about the Ansible integration. Um, over the last two releases, um, we've we've released plugins for NetConf and RustConf and GNMI. Now we're adding innovation into that specifically to integrate with the Ansible tooling. Um, can I ask uh, before you guys get into to too much of it? What what was the decision maker for integrating with Ansible tooling? So a lot of times we see customers start adopting the Yang based APIs, and they want to extend that um, the testing and validation that they're doing with Yang Suite into a tool chain. Uh, and there's a couple of tool chains that we support within iOS XE. Uh, we support Terraform integrations as well as Ansible, as well as, of course, lots of uh, common integrations using the, the standard APIs. So because we see a lot of customer adoption uh, specifically using the Ansible tooling, it's also very extensible, meaning it has plugins already in the ecosystem to work with all of these various Yang-based APIs. Okay, that makes a ton of sense. I was curious because I didn't see Terraform on here, but I wasn't sure if, if it had been added in as well. Yeah, so we don't actually have an integration directly from Yang Suite into Terraform uh, yet. Um, it's, we haven't actually discussed that, but uh, it's something that we're definitely open to. Um, there has actually been some stack minutes where we've talked about Terraform, though. So we do have Terraform integrations directly to iOS XE. Yeah, you guys have a provider. I was actually using it the other day. The other day. It's pretty cool. <laughs> well, and Ansible, Ansible makes a ton of sense for the ecosystem and the, and the our, it's Snack Minute users and um, all the customers that we, customers and partners that we talk to um, for iOS XE and uh, enterprise networking devices makes a ton of sense um, to, to go down that path. Yeah, exactly. It's easy to work with. Cool. Show us what you got now. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. So since we've been talking about Ansible, let's go ahead and look at this uh, this demo here. Yeah. So first, I'm going to go over to Yang Suite, and we have the plugin or the Ansible integrations with our different protocols here, including um, GNMI, NetConf, and RestConf. But I'm just going to build up a really a quick payload here, and then we can look at uh, the Ansible playbook and actually run one that we have created already. I love this tool. <laughs> Every time I see it, I get excited. It's such a good platform for, I mean, yes, getting work done, but it's such a good platform for teaching about these kinds of things oh my God, as yeah. well. Um, and I just get excited because it's so easy to see 
like as stories going through this, we're able to see the X path that's being generated for the IETF interfaces model. And it's just cool to see how you can put in values directly into the model interface <laughs> and build the XML. And I don't know, I just get pumped seeing all of the cool things that you guys have done with this. Not to mention now, I think in the previous version, you have the support of exporting the exporting the the to Python or whatever language. Right. So you can just bring in those calls in directly into your script, which right. makes it that much better. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So here I've just built up a payload to change the interface in here. And typically the workflow for using Yang Suite would be to run this RPC directly. So we could go ahead and send this and actually look at our device to see the update or to see the change. Um, but right now I actually wanna focus on the Ansible part so we can look at our replays. And just like you were saying, we can generate a Python script directly or we can generate an Ansible playbook here. So this is just downloaded locally and we can go ahead and take a look at it here. Basically it contains all of the XML that was generated and it has some comments to tell us how we can actually use this. So now we can look at an example of how to, how to run. So it generated all my YAML for me. I don't have to worry about <laughs> making sure that I have the right number of spaces. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And That's dashes hard to sometimes. <laughs> and colons. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll just go over um, our setup here. So we already have our config, and we're saying we're going to be looking at this Ansible host. This is our, our inventory, so we can take a look at that as well. This is just our credentials here and uh, the device that we actually want to configure. So now we can actually uh, run this So with our Ansible playbook. We're going to include our Ansible host. And then the file name that we have here is we're going to edit this uh, interface description. So now I'm just running the Ansible playbook and assuming all goes well, we'll see an OK message that we are able to go in and actually update um, the, the interface here. So we're looking at our, our monitor here. We can see that, OK, we've gone in and we've updated the descriptions here. So in this particular playbook, we actually have a few different interfaces and we're going in and updating all of these descriptions. We're saying, hey, we configured this by netconf. And then we see, okay, our Ansible playbook gives us this, okay, so everything is good to go. <laughs> and uh, we, can, we can actually uh, check it out. And while you're doing this story, Jeremy, did I, did I read this correctly? Now you have PIP supported to set up the Ink Suite? Yes. <clears throat> yeah. So now we're in addition to supporting the Docker install, we're also supporting the native Python install. So the pip install Yang Suite. Oh, it makes it much easier too. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it totally does. Especially if you're, you know, you haven't played with containers. Yeah, it's one one less hurdle to jump through if you don't have Docker, if you don't have that virtualization capability, or if you don't need some of the capabilities as part of the Docker container. Uh, specifically, uh, we released the Docker container to support HTTPS access into the tool, secure access. With the pip install mechanism, we provide only a HTTP mechanism to access the tool. So we assume that it's on a safe uh, subnet or network or uh, in a private network. Um, we only have a, a couple more minutes. Um, was there another demo you guys wanted to show us? Yep, exactly. So for this last one, we have SNMP OID TAing XPath mapping. So really the purpose of this one is we're seeing a lot of customers moving away from SNMP and moving more to using Yang, using the Yang API or programmable features. And so this is a tool or Yang Suite is giving us, enabling us a way to actually do this mapping, help us go from one place to another. And so we can take a look at this example too. It's really quick. I just wanna show the first step in this workflow. Um, but we can actually uh, run an SNMP walk. So here I've selected a device and then I can either select a community or an SNMP V3 password. So I've added my community here and this is the OID that I actually want to run and check it out. And so this is giving me uh, CPU information. So basically I've done the SNMP walk and I'm getting the response back of we're using six, six CPU right now. So not too much is going on on our switch. 
Um, but this is just one step that we can gain some confidence in understanding what, uh, what the answer or the response is from SMP. And then the next part is to actually go in and match our OIDs to XPAS. I won't get into that uh, today or in this demo, um, but that's the next step to actually go in and use the programmable features in place of SMP. And the reason why this may be interesting or helpful to some people is it saves a lot of uh, resources. So the CPU and memory is much more efficient using our programmable features rather than SNMP. Yeah, that's did really- Did you just set yourself up to come for another episode story? <laughs> she did. Exactly. <laughs> she said, I'm gonna yep. show them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave a little cliffhanger here because I know people are gonna wanna see these expats get created. I wanna see it. Um, so, uh, unfortunately that is all the time we have for today. Uh, Jeremy and story, thank you guys for coming and showing us all these new, interesting things for, for Yang suite. Thank you snackers. And for get started with all of this, where I'm sure we're going to have some links somewhere around you around our screen here <laughs> for you to check out and go out, out there and pip install this thing. So thank you snackers. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.